Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. The reveal of my silky dress. I haven't done a clothing haul in so long, so we're gonna do a haul today. I have been shopping so much lately. It's not like I have places to be, things to do. I just see pretty things and I buy it, but I did some crazy shopping and I can't wait to show you guys what I got. I'm gonna show you guys all the pretty girly princessy things that I got. Okay, so the first brand that I got some stuff from is Shop Cider. They have such girly cute clothing and I just love how everything is so princessy. So the first thing that I got from Shop Cider is this little mini satin dress and I have a thing for bow tie straps or ribbon detailing happening on like the shoulders absolutely love it i think it's so cute for spring this dress is just absolutely adorable it's such a girly princessy dress and anything that's pink and satin it's just an instant buy for me this is definitely not like any other satin dresses that i have because the bottom of it is very not like pleated but kind of like flared as opposed to like my other dresses which are like straight but this one just has like that I'm sure if I spin around, it'll like flare out and I love, love, love dresses that are like that. I think it's so cute. I love the color. I love the satin. I love the ribbons. I think it's so beautiful and it's so comfortable. The next thing that I got that I thought would match so cute with that dress, cardigan type of crop top and it's giving me Regency vibes. It's giving me Bridgerton vibes. It's giving me all the princess vibes living for it Let's just talk about this top for a second. It's so beautiful. First of all, it's puff sleeve It is pink. It is a velvet material and it's got rose detailing as like the buttons going down I love it with just like some high-waisted pants. I also love it for like a throw over on a satin dress. The model was wearing this satin dress with this over it and it looked so good. So I think that's how I'm gonna like wear this top but I also really like it with like white bottoms. I'm actually like really excited to wear this with like white pants or white shorts. I think it'll look so good but I mean, what? Such a modern princess look. I love it. Okay, next thing that I got is this beautiful crop knit sweater and this is to die for. It's definitely giving me ballerina energy because just look at it. Like the first thing that came to my mind when I saw this sweater was I'm gonna look like a ballerina in it. I just love the little like cable knit, I think it's called, pattern, the ruffles, a little bow. It's just, it screams me in a top. You never go wrong with like a light sweater in the spring. And I think this is like absolutely perfect. I just feel like pants will look a lot better, like shorts or pants because of the ruffle detailing. I don't want to wear a skirt with this because I just feel like a skirt will cover up the ruffle detailing because I tend to just like tuck everything into a skirt. So I just feel like this will look better with like pants. Maybe some light wash jeans for a more casual look, but it's so cute. Okay, the next top that I got is another ribbon shoulder tie. They really need to come up with like a shorter description for this. This is kind of like a fake corset type of top. There's no boning in this. It's just like a regular little crop top. I think it's so gorgeous. Look at the detailing. Oh my gosh, living for it. I just love this top for like a casual kind of look. I definitely feel like this top has a lot going on already. So I'm probably just gonna like tone it down with maybe some jeans. I definitely do see myself wearing this with jeans. I just feel like it's such a good combination. Okay, so next thing I got is this gorgeous little ruffled skirt. I'm so obsessed with this skirt. You have no idea. This is possibly my favorite skirt of all time. I mean, I feel I look like such a princess in this skirt. So beautiful. I just love the little... I have no idea what this is called, but it's kind of like feathers just like poking out of it and then the bottom is like this ruffle hem. This just screams princess. I literally have no idea where I would ever wear this to. This is so like extra, but I love it so much and that's why I instantly bought it. Okay, so the next thing that I got from Shopsider are these light pink lace shorts and i have been meaning meaning to get like some lacy shorts for the spring slash summertime so these are so perfect they're very thin so i feel like they'll be more perfect for summertime but 
they are absolutely so gorgeous i just love the lace detailing okay so the last thing that i got from shop cider is this lace over throw i thought this was so cute so delicate so feminine it's just so beautiful look at it look at it oh my gosh okay i love pairing this top with like satin dresses so the next item on my list is the satin dress from the store called the commons look how cute that looks it looks so good i styled this in one of my tiktok videos from outfits that i got from the commons and i paired this over the satin dress it looks so good okay so next i got some stuff from brands that emma rose collab with and emma rose is an instagram influencer i absolutely adore her i love her style she is one of my inspirations and she's just so cute so the first thing that i got is this sweatshirt which i have an obsession with pretty sweatshirts and how cute is this i sleep in this this is definitely something that i could wear to the bookstore because i like to be comfortable at the bookstore and it just gives me like bookstore vibes like oversized sweatshirts major bookstore vibes okay so these items are from beginning boutique and so the next thing that i got is her sweater vest and i am not over my sweater vest phase like it is honestly gonna like stay with me for a while but screams spring this is a spring sweater vest i feel like sweater vests are making a comeback for spring like i think it's like the trend I could be wrong. This will look so cute with like jeans. Another like bookstore vibe kind of outfit. Okay, last thing that I got from the beginning boutique collection is the matching tote bag. This is officially my favorite tote. It's the same exact thing on the sweatshirt. So I am so excited to wear the sweatshirt and this together. How cute would that be? So the next two things that I got from her are these handbags. These are from her Call It Spring collab. But I have been looking for like a black shoulder bag for the longest time. I can never find any. Literally, how cute is this? Sometimes you just need like a simple little black handbag. And I am like obsessed with like the Y2K mini bag trend, like making its comeback. And this is like a total must if you're into that trend. This is the bag. I couldn't resist, so I got it in pink as well. <laughs> this is probably the prettiest pink I have, like, ever seen. This is, like, so perfect for spring. Okay, so next item I have is this bustier from For Love and Lemon. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is literally spring in a top. I just love this shade of pink. Everything about them is just dreamy and gorgeous and delicate and feminine, and I love it. Oh my god, I just noticed the back of it. There's like little bows on like the straps, the details in their work. Bustier tops and jeans are like the elite combination. I don't make the rules, that's just how it is. Okay, next I went kind of a little crazy because everything from their site is so dreamy. I got like some bras, but we don't need to see those. Um, okay, so next thing that I got are the dreamiest shoes ever these are so trendy and so popular right now and i feel like every girl needs to own a pair of these so i got this in this baby pink and then i got them in white because why the heck not i think i'm gonna get them in black next because i just feel like just like wear them with anything honestly and black shoes just like go with anything so i think that will be like my next thing to purchase but I love the white ones. They're so different. I don't really see many people have the white ones. Okay, and then I got like these kind of bow heels, which are so beautiful. I honestly just can't. This is more like a peachy kind of pink color. I don't really have much to wear with these heels, but they're just a must-have in every girly princess wardrobe. I'm probably gonna do like some TikTok videos on how to style these bow heels. I kind of want to make a video for like more like casual type of activities. So I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. So follow me on TikTok if you want to see how I style some bow heels. The next thing that I got is this black dress everything was so cute and girly and pink and white and then i just come out with this black dress okay so i've been meaning to actually get some more black dresses because i just feel like it's a staple in everyone's wardrobe so i saw this one and i thought it was very different very unique it's not like a plain satin black dress or 
a tight fitted like body contrast everyone has this one is a girly princessy black dress first it is like cut out on the sides and the back like the sleeves i believe you can wear this as an off shoulder as well so i thought that was really cool lots of ruffle detailing is happening here and then there's like a little bow like in the center of it and the bottom has like this little ruffle hem which we love it's like a girly black dress i feel like everyone needs to have okay, so i literally cannot swim to save my life and i don't live near a beach but i love the beach maybe it's because i grew up on a beach and i miss it so much it's literally been a decade actually no i went to the beach last year what am i talking about what is wrong with me i have been on a crazy bathing suit frenzy i think i have a swimsuit obsession i bought like three swimsuits um but i'm gonna just show you two of them okay i just realized that i got like the same pattern <laughs> oh my god what is wrong with me the first swimsuit that i got is from dipping daisy and it's actually this one piece which is the cutest most girliest swimsuit ever like look at the detailing and there's like lace detailing on the top and my favorite part it ties on the shoulder gotta love a tie shoulder top bathing suit whatever you want to call it i'm obsessed with this this is so cute i literally just can't wait to go to the beach and take cute photos in this i'm not even gonna go into water because i really don't want to die okay so i thought that <laughs> when i was buying this one i really thought that this swimsuit was like more pink but whatever got the same exact pattern but in like a two-piece swimsuit and you know what i'm not even like gonna be mad about it because they are completely different so this is what the top looks like same pattern same rose detailing this is honestly so cute and the bottoms are high-waisted which i love so cute oh my gosh i'm so excited to wear these you have no idea okay you guys the next things that i got are pajamas and I have just been having like an obsession with pajamas, especially like satin pajamas. So I literally got like three pairs from Nasty Gal. They're all satin pajamas. Literally, this is like the only thing I sleep in during like the spring and summertime. First one that I got is this white with pink trim. Can we just talk about the sleeve for a second? It's got a little satin bow on it. This is the first one. It's so cute. And the bottoms are actually long pants. So, which I don't mind because like they're super thin. It's just always like cold in my room for whatever reason. Next, I got similar one to the first one, but it's pink with white trimming instead. And it's actually like shorts. It's such a beautiful pink color. And then we've got like the white those okay so this one is definitely my favorite because it comes with a detachable fur trim sleeve i mentioned in like my last princess video that fur trim are like the trend so why not have it in your pajamas how cute is this it's like a champagne light rose kind of color and this is also shorts Okay, the last pajama set that I got is from Dip and Daisy. It's so beautiful. It's long sleeve. It's like cotton. Look at that flower detailing. It's so beautiful. And it's also shorts. So yeah, this is very like wrinkly. The very last thing that I got is this silky dress. My very first silky dress. You guys, this dress. I totally deserve this. Like... I honestly deserve this. Just look at it. Oh, it's literally the most princess thing I've ever owned and I just can't stop staring at it. The color is just gorgeous. Love the ruffles. Somewhat sweetheart neckline, I would say. I don't know if I would call it sweetheart neckline, but I just love the neckline as opposed to like the original silky dresses, which is very like straight. I love this one. This has been on my Pinterest like to buy list for a year now and a year, almost a year I would say. So far, this is my favorite purchase of the year. I have no idea where I would ever wear this dress to but it was such a need, it was such a buy. Like why wouldn't you buy this? The day I wear this and take pictures, 
everyone on my Instagram is going to be so sick of me. Like, so sick of me because this is all I would be posting about. Okay, you guys. So that concludes my little girly princess haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you got like some inspiration for the springtime. This is definitely what my spring wardrobe is mostly going to be consist of. So don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!